Okay, so this is my Chromebook R11. Uh, it's an N3060 with four gig of RAM, so it's it's quite an entry level model. And uh, I coming from iPad Pro, which is still my main device, an iPad Pro uh, because I do all my editing on it. Uh, it's uh, it's an incredibly smooth device, uh, which is a 120 hertz display, and just the OS is incredibly smooth. That's the one thing uh, you notice on Chrome OS with multitasking is that it really isn't that smooth. And I, I saw a video the other day uh, where uh, beta version of 75 of the operating system is a lot smoother than 74. I'm on 74 at the moment, so if I slide down, you can see uh, I can switch between apps. But everything is a bit sort of clunky and jittery. Uh, it's not particularly smooth uh, like it has been on, on my iPad for many, many years. Um, but obviously it's much better on my iPad Pro. But this is a budget device, so I'm not, I'm not expecting it to be uh, that good. And actually when you're in the apps, it runs perfectly fine. And especially if you're using all the Chrome native uh, features, it, it, it works brilliantly. So it switches between websites nice and quickly. Um, it, is, uh, it is really good. Uh, and it and is a nice swift device. But uh, so let's just do a bit more of the multitasking. So if I want to do split screen, you can see that I can move it around. And let's split this one. Oh, that's me doing the wrong thing there. So between files and between the web browser and settings, you can see it still works pretty well. Uh, again, I'm doing the wrong thing. You've got to pull it down into the box. I'm still getting used to the operating system. Um, but uh, but it just is, all of this is a little bit jerky uh, compared to what I'm used to. Uh, and this is what the uh, 75 version of software is going to sort out. So what I'll do is I'll try that and we'll do a little comparison. Uh, so I've got to go into settings. Um, I've got to go into about Chrome OS. Uh, and you can see here, I'm on 74. If I check for updates, it says it's up to date. Uh, but then if you go down to detailed build information, I'm currently on the stable channel. Let's change that to the beta version, change channel. So now I should be able to update that. Uh, here we go, already, oh, so it's already updating the device to the beta channel. And whilst it's doing that, let's do a bit more. I keep forgetting to pull it down to the to the box. It's a clever system and it multitasks really well. So so obviously I, I work on the iPad Pro, the multitasking and the Windows, although it's very smooth, it, not everything's supported. And this is running a crossover between some Android apps uh, because the YouTube one is an Android app uh, that I'm running here at the moment. Um, and I've got a load more Android apps on here while it's doing that in the background. Uh, I've got some emulators. I mean, there's there's so much you can do with the Chromebook, and they are so cheap, uh, and they're really really good devices. I'm I'm so impressed. It, I wouldn't buy a bottom end Windows laptop now. I would only buy for me a Windows laptop has to have a solid state drive, uh, at least a Pentium processor, uh, and four gig of RAM. Otherwise, it's just not worth using. Whereas a Chromebook, you can really go bottom end specs and still get something that's that's actually pretty nice to use. Um, so, where's my Linux? Oh yeah, so I, I'll do in another video, I've been putting some Linux games on, um, and I've got this program which is, uh, and I'll, I'll mention this in another video, but it allows you to uh, install Linux apps very, very simply from a, a windowed interface rather than having to type out in terminal, uh, and that works really well. Anyway, while that's doing in the background, let's switch to this, switch to settings. Uh, so what does it say? 31% updating your device to beta channel. Uh, what I read about uh, Chrome OS, the really clever thing about it is the way that it has uh, two partitions and it downloads the new version to the new partition. And uh, then when you reboot the system, it actually goes for the newer version of the software, uh, but it keeps the old version. So that's the way that it doesn't slow down and doesn't, uh, basically when it's doing updates, you're not aware of it really. And then when you restart, then you've got some new features and more stability and more security and things like that. Here we are, this is the, the Linux app. And I, I, as I say, I'll go through this in a different video, but I was looking at games mainly, um, but there are loads of other things and there's uh, office documents and things like that. Um, but you can see here, uh, and if you want to install one, you just click on it, 
there tends not to be a thumbnail no uh, and then just click on install and then that'll install I'm still new to Chrome OS I've all, I've used it always uh, in the store but uh, never actually had it as, as a device that I own and I did consciously try and use this for a couple of weeks uh, and really got on well with it I mean it, for the price you really can't grumble uh, so that game's not appeared in here yet but that could be because the oh yeah Battle Tanks is now installed so it was just installing it in the background so we'll close that bit down click on Linux apps uh, yeah Battle Tanks is there but again I'll cover that in another video this is more about uh, updating this device so I'll speed this bit up uh, here we are so this has just popped up update available uh, so restart to update so it says version 74 uh, on there so let's click on that another really nice feature about Chrome is how quick it, it starts up so it's around about 10 seconds they recommend okay so I've got the four same four things open uh, let's give it a try and see how smooth it is now that we've got 75 on here so let's move that over to uh, the left hand side and then have settings on the right hand side so you can see that's working fine slide down and open files slide down and open YouTube yeah that's definitely smoother uh, it, it's just it's just uh, jumping about a lot less it's uh, it's much more pleasant to use so let's try it on this side uh, so oh, wrong one YouTube and then do Chrome on this side yeah that to be fair that's much much better the multitasking is very good on this I have to say uh, and you know going back to my iPad Pro the whole split screen thing although it's incredibly smooth on iPad not everything is supported uh, whereas on this it does seem to be much more uh, supported uh, obviously this tends to be a bit jerky um, but this is obviously something else maybe that will come in a later build um, but at the moment 75 is definitely more pleasant to use if you're switching between apps uh, so even though this is a low end I don't know what I do differently on the left hand side sometimes I do that where it doesn't actually select it uh, I don't yeah I don't I think I've hovered long enough but uh, but I seem not to have let's see if I ever do that on the right hand side yeah I can do it super quick on the left hand side but for some reason when I do it on the right hand side that happens uh, and maybe someone can leave a comment to see what I'm doing uh, yeah it, it never happens on this side uh, whatever apps I'm going through uh, and yeah that is way better anyway I uh, hope this helps thanks very much for watching please like and subscribe